it's going to be too hot. I'm probably going to have to stick an ice cube in there. Well, it's Saturday morning, so time to do some... Uh, dad chores actually this car needs the uh, oil pan replaced the dealership screwed it up and they of course said that they didn't screw it up but when they uh, changed the oil they messed up the oil drain plug so i have a new oil pan now i just have to go buy a new filter oil to change the oil and then i'm gonna do the heavy lifting of replacing the oil pan because if i pay them to do it it'll be like 500 bucks and it was a 40 dollars part <laughs> They had a deal going with the SDP that uh, for one low bargain price, get the oil, the filter, and the air filter. And I'm sure this car needs an air filter. So thank you, AutoZone. Thank you, fine gentlemen working there. We had a nice little chat about the TT because one of the guys saw me in it about a week ago. That car, people remember it. Back in the day, we had a forerunner, my wife and I. Uh, 1996, we leased it. And I swore I'll never lease another car and one of the reasons is because we really like that car. And it's one of the cars that I really wish I still had because I'm telling you, I would still have that car. And it's 2019. Um, and one of the cool things about it is, is that the, uh, was, I should say, maybe still is, is that the rear window was electric and it would go down. And so you could pass stuff through it. And on a day like today, I would have opened the window just to get the air blowing through this car. It's been, you know, a hot summer. It's still summer, but it's a beautiful day today. So that's one bummer about the Highlander that we have, um, that it doesn't have that same cool feature. Come on, Toyota. I mean, this Highlander is as big as that 1996 Forerunner was, uh, almost, and as their models have expanded in size, and then they introduce a new smaller model, and then that one grows, and then they introduce another. Did you ever notice that? All right, I'm not going to drive and hold this phone out here because people are looking at me. I think I have everything I need. New oil pan, gasket maker around that side, sockets. This I'm going to need to get the uh, temporary drain plug that they inserted in there because they, they screwed up the threads. All right, let's do this. All right, so what we have here is not your standard oil plug. Um, it's a temporary thing, so I'm just going to use the channel locks to try to get that thing off of there. Wish me luck. To cut that glove, dadgummit. I drove the car a little bit um, just to go pick up the oil so that the oil would be warm and ready to go. So we know this is always going to make a bit of a mess as we let it out. Come on, baby. Let's get all out. Yeah. So far, I'm being very careful not to crush these guys. draining I thought I'd start with the easy thing and putting this air filter on and it just doesn't want to go back into these tube back clamps correctly the hinges so that I can clamp it on so of course uh, nothing's ever easy oh and the other fun thing is is that I've been looking around in here and I can't find the oil filter <laughs> so I pulled the drain plug which cannot be replaced so I have to do finish the job and do the pan but I don't know where the oil filter is so I got it um, <laughs> this part at least, the clamps on. I actually just think I had the filtering upside down. Now I just have to tighten the screw. And uh, you know, everything takes longer when you're filming it. Um, the oil filter is underneath here. And it won't turn by hand, so I've got this old oil filter wrench. I thought I had one that was adjustable and I can't find it. But I do have this strappy wrench and so we'll see what we can do. 
All right, so we've got all of them loose on the oil pan except for this one right here. And the reason is, is because there isn't room for a socket where my finger is. So I can't get a socket up onto that one, which is ridiculous because this thing is not a movable piece. It's part of the exhaust, right? I mean, it's the downpipe and all. And I, I don't get you, Toyota. Tip I got on a YouTube video that I'd seen before I even started doing this. Got a universal, um, got a, you know, a swivel on there and put a little tape around it, make it a little stiffer to e make it easier to use. According to that guy, we'll see if this one works. All right, next bit of fun is trying to get this oil pan separated from the bottom of the car. It's going to take some banging, so we'll see how that goes. But we got that last nut off, just so you know, with some trickery. Okay, we got a wrench to try to get down to that oil filter. Let's see if that works. See if with your skinnier arms that makes any sense. So yeah, I tried to hold it with one hand on there and spin it. No, it's not getting tighter. Yeah, I don't know why. So how do you normally tighten it? No, it's just... You still have to two-handed, I think, to try to get it to shrink down on there. If not, I take it back and get the right sized one. Nope, it just rips. It just rips the glove. Huh. You want to try like a rag or something? Okay. We have hammered, drilled holes in it, and then hammered a screwdriver through it, and then pried it, and it looks like it moves. So now let's see if it's going to turn when I try to do this by hand. Wish me luck. <sighs> no. No, got a hole in it. It budged a little bit when I wedged it, but I couldn't turn it. So now we're gonna try and use something with maybe a shorter handle on it. See if I can get a hold of that. <sighs> it's never as easy as you want it to be. It's just changing the oil. Why is the oil filter down there? Come on, Toyota. We have quite the butterfly thing happening right now. Up there, you see up there? And that one just landed. And then up there, there you go. They're thoroughly enjoying the butterfly bush today. Oh look, there's two. Two, two, two. All right, we may have something here. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to get this thing in a spot where you can see. Yes, wrap duct tape around it, cram this filter on it. Yes, baby. Woohoo! After all that rigmarole, woo, it came out. All right, let's put the new one on, although we're not anywhere near done because we still have to get the oil pan off the bottom, but I'll take it. Progress. All right, that's good. If you've ever wondered what the bottom half of a motor looks like, this is where the oil pan attaches. Down there. That's the end of the dipstick sticking out right there. 
And I just have to clean all the remaining um, sealant that was on there off of here so we get a nice clean seal. And then reattach the old one. I'm working hard to try to get, again, this bolt that was goes on to in the screw that goes into here on this side up in there because this is in the way and I can't move it, but I'm not going to. Next, as I was advised to do in another video, I'm going to use some brake parts cleaner and I'm going to wipe off all around the edge of that to just to make sure that it's really clean so we get a good seal with the new part. Try run it so we have to go in kind of an angle, not touching everything. Push it over here. All right, here goes nothing. Let's hope I don't mess it up. All right, the only one left is the one that's really hard to get to, so wish me luck. I'm glad to say all that's left to do is to pour this into there and then we should be good to go. Calling it a day. It's time for dinner. This took me all day. Oh well, live and learn. But it saved me hundreds of dollars, right? So $28 for the oil air filter, oil filter, $40 for the new oil pan, and then like eight bucks for the oil filter, right? So, you know, compared to what Toyota wanted to charge me, I'm okay with that. So it took a day. My time is free. Sorry. Spread out. Well, I've got the two invoices from the last time that the dealership changed the oil and rotated the tires. There's that one. Oh, of course, that's making some great video right there. And then here's the other one. So $74.61 on the high side on this one. And then this one was $67.40. Now, I couldn't find the one in here that told us how much they wanted to charge us to um, replace the oil pan. But either way, I spent less money replacing the oil pan and changing the oil than they would have charged me to change the oil and rotate the tires. I call that a good night. Oh, and good night. So that was the day. I rewarded myself with a little um, chicken wings at the end of it and uh, checked all this stuff out. I don't think we have any drips. I put something underneath the car to see if we do end up with any drips. So I'm hoping that the work that I did was sufficient. So you now can 
do some things if you like to. You can choose to hit the like button. You can choose to subscribe. And you can choose to ring that bell if you want notifications about future videos. But that was my Saturday. It took me all flipping day to do this job. Can't believe it. All right, take care. Thank you.